Hey guys, it's Edie, your video and YouTube strategist. Wanted to come in and share with you a new feature for Loom. You know how I love my screen recording softwares and you know how much I love Loom. They've recently rolled out a beta that they've released to business and enterprise users for their transcription um, feature. And so I just noticed it today and I wanted to come in and share it with you because it is actually quite interesting. What it does is when you're recording your video, once you've finished recording your video and you open it up in Loom, it gives you the ability to immediately transcribe the video that you've just recorded. All right, so let's take a look, shall we? Hey guys, it's Edie here, your video and YouTube strategist, and I wanted to pop in with a new featurette. This one is on Loom. You guys know how much I love my Loom. And I just happened to be uh, doing a video for a client and saw this new feature pop up. And it is on being able to transcribe your videos after you've recorded them. So right now I'm recording this video in Loom and then I'll show you what it looks like when I'm finished. The transcription um, piece was something that they mentioned last year as a feature that they were looking into and researching and working on that they were going to try to release sometime in 2021. Currently it's in beta. It is so new and in beta that they have not even added it to their what's new blog. So when you go over here, you can see all of the things that they have for January. And then the last time prior to January goes back to November. And in none of these do they mention um, that they're doing or that they've released in beta. Because you see here that there are some betas, the team library, engagement insights. I gave you guys the 411 on all of these last year, but they did not mention anything here in reference to the transcriptions. So this is brand spanking new. I'm assuming what they're going to do is they are going to have this tested out by everybody so that they can then get some feedback, make some tweaks, and then they'll announce it. Now, um, one thing that I wanted to check out really quickly was to see if on a pre-recorded video that I've done a few days ago, this one is from about three days ago, um, the area where it pops up is right about here. Um, so it's not on pre-recorded video, so it should pop up as soon as I'm finished recording this one. So let's see what that looks like. Hopefully, fingers crossed that it'll work. And there you go. So it comes here, it says transcript beta. And then when you, oh, there you go. Introducing video transcripts now in beta. Now you can access an interactive time synced, and we can read this, um, transcript of your recordings on your video page. So that's excellent. So let's see what that looks like. So I'm gonna click there. It says your transcript is uh, processing. I think it depends on how quickly you click this after you recorded your video, because the first time that I noticed it, um, I think my video had been recorded like for several minutes before I went to check it. And so by the time I hit transcript, it literally immediately popped up. Whereas right now I just did it as soon as I was finished. So I'm not sure um, how long it takes. This is just a two minute video that I did. So hopefully it won't take too long. And I don't know also if you close out of this and come back, if it'll um, be there for you. So let's, I'm going to close out of this for the moment because I did do a previous video and that's this one. Oh no, that's not it. I don't think I did that one. Nope. That's this one, I think. Okay. There you go. So this is the one that I did before I just started recording. And so that has the transcript there. Let's go back and see if the one I just, just recorded is ready. And it is. 
So they never spell my name correctly. They always spell with the initials ED, but that's okay. As a side note, I just wanted to let you know they do not allow for you to correct your transcript. So in the example of my name being spelled incorrectly, I could not go back in and change that. And so I think this is pretty good. I'm loving this. Now, what I am going to read a little bit about and um, come back and elaborate in this video is whether this can also lead to closed captioning. So we have the transcript. What can we do with the transcript? So I will uh, get back to you on that. All right, so take care. Bye. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this featurette. Thanks again, as always, for watching. If you want to see any more videos like this, please feel free to comment below, like my video, and subscribe so that you can see more featurettes like this in the future. All right, take care and see ya later. Bye.